Why can't I stop thinking about my past? Here in this video we will talk about behaviors of people who live in the past, for ways to process traumatic events and we will give you 9 tips for living in the now. You know when we catch ourselves thinking about the past, remembering is living and brings a certain nostalgia, but sometimes reliving the past can be very traumatic for some people. According to experts and psychologists, this is often something that hurt, and is still hurt, and we think in an illusory way that it could be concluded in another way. We don't have an infinity stone to go back in time. Do you live in the past? Do you have something that keeps tormenting you directly? A memory that doesn't come out? Usually something traumatic, like an accident, an assault, a separation, an illness, or an abuse, and that doesn't leave the mind. To get over, you need to process what happened, and a good way to process this is. 1. Talking about what happened. Here it is to vent, to talk about what happened, and to put it out, it can be done in many ways, by a diary or for a person. We usually have someone in our family that we feel closest to, he can be a good confidant, another choice is a close friend, he can not only listen to you but also advise you. If you want a lot of confidentiality, how about talking to someone who is close to you, but not so close to your social cycle, so no matter what you tell that person, they don't have interactions with others that you don't want them to know. 2. Identify how you felt at the moment. Events that make us remember them always, are activated with some kind of feeling, remembering this will be difficult, because when we remember something traumatic, the brain usually releases hormones, causing us to feel some similar feeling. So when remembering something joyful we laugh. 3. Identify what happened. How did that affect you at that time, what were the consequences, all of this at the time it happened back there in the past. And after analyzing this, see how it continues to affect your life. 4. A new look. Try to look at it another way, how about instead of thinking negative how about bringing the best possible from this experience, for example it made you see another side of people, made you mature more, made you more resilient to falls, it's complicated I know, but with someone's help sometimes it's easier to see from another perspective. 5. Seek expert help. In case of something very traumatic, it is better to look for a psychologist, they have methods that will help you to see things in a different way and overcome them. Congratulations for getting here, so leave your like to help the channel develop more cool content like this. We've already seen the past and how to overcome it, now let's go to the present and how to experience it. After analyzing the past and seeing that it has passed, it's time to focus on the now, and on who we want to be today. So we can be more focused on the present and be well prepared for nothing to disturb us in the future. Let's go to 9 tips on how to live in the now. 1. Get rid of unnecessary objects. Minimalist living forces you to be in the now. Removing, selling, donating, recycling old items will help you get rid of the shackles of the past. And it will make you stick with what is really important. Taking this material strength from the past will help you live more in the present. 2. Smile. Well, it seems strange, but it is proven that stopping a moment of your day, and forcing a smile for a few seconds, can make you relax and be able to be calmer, that's because the smile will stimulate muscles in your face, which finally will activate your mind, so you are getting more and more motivated, starting the day with a smile, and giving a smile in a moment of tension, can relieve you. 3. Appreciate the now. Immerse yourself as much as you can in today, the sights, the sounds, the scents, the emotions, the triumph and the sadness, appreciate the little things. They are in our daily life, but we often forget to welcome and truly appreciate them. So live in the now. 4. Forgive past wounds. If you live in the past and are harboring resentment toward another human being because of past wounds, choose to forgive and move on. The damage was their fault but allowing it to affect your mood today is yours. Let go and choose to be present in this moment. This way you will take a huge weight off your mind. 5. Dream about the future. Dream big. Set goals and plans for the future. Working today is always the first step towards realizing your dreams tomorrow. 
Don't let the past tie you down and hold you, see beyond. Think about a future, about the things you want to achieve tomorrow, a month from now, and a few years from now. 6. Don't dwell on past accomplishments. If you're still talking about what you did or undone yesterday, you won't be doing much today. There is still plenty of time to build on past successes and create more memories and achievements for you in the future. In the future, you will cherish the memories of this moment. 7. Stop worrying. You cannot fully appreciate today if you worry too much about tomorrow. Realize that tomorrow is going to happen whether you care about it or not. And since worry doesn't benefit you, redirect your mental energy elsewhere. 8. Think beyond the old solutions to problems. The world is changing so fast that most of yesterday's solutions are no longer today's right answers. Don't get stuck in a, do you live in the past, mentality. Yesterday's solutions are not today's solutions and certainly will not be tomorrow's solutions. Get a new perspective, try another way. 9. Overcome addictions. The vices in your life hold you hostage. They keep you from living a completely free life and take your focus away from the moment. Take the first steps and remove their influence on your life. Listen to yourself. If you can't stop thinking, do you live in the past, look for a professional and start the journey to overcome. Learning to live in the present moment is an essential ingredient for a happier life. If you can only live one moment at a time, you might as well make it present and enjoy it.